10. This is not a drill. We are at condition 10. Welcome back guys for another diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at this beautiful Peterbilt 389 tow truck from Diecast Promotion. This is a very very nice detail casting from Diecast Promotion and I can't wait to open up and show you guys all the cool stuff that this truck has. So for the first time on the channel we're going to review a non uh, the uh, tractor trailer truck and be a different one. And this guy here comes with a really nice certificate of authenticity and tells you that only 52 models of this truck were made. Make it very, very limited. So, so there he is. This is the beast. This is an absolutely lovely looking truck. Orange, white, and blue paint skin. And this is from Suburban Towing Company based on the United States somewhere. I don't know where, but you guys probably will be able to tell me. So, as you can see, this truck here has incredible amount of details. So we're gonna start with the front of this big boy. So this is a 389 Peterbilt. This is the uh, newer looking version of their classic truck line. This one has a big ass chrome bumper says Suburban, name of the company on the front. You get some very nicely detailed molded lights on the front with the uh, little accent for the turn signal. Peterbilt logo on the front. And you also have some nice blue stripes on the fender of the orange tractor. You get some quadruple uh, hair horns on the top. One a little bit crooked, surprisingly, but uh, not too bad. You have some nice lights on the top, some very cool looking exhaust stacks, chrome mirrors and chrome looking deflectors, along with a nice temple for the uh, window net here and a chrome deflector. And of course you got your positional lights painted, detailed painted. On the side of this big boy, Peerbuilt logo on the nose, you got your orange, blue and white stripes for the uh, paint skin of the truck. Little mud flaps here on the, on the back of the front wheel. Truck number 475 for this tow truck. Suburban towing tempo on the door. And something also here, I don't know, it's so small I can't even read it. But uh, anyway, and on the door of the sleeper it says, okay, it's the US dot number for the truck. Get your big ass gas, uh, not gas, but diesel tank here with the steps molded in. Uh, this seems to be a toolbox and maybe a, a diff liquid for the anti pollution system here. On the side, you have multiple doors for the tooling that the tow truck need. When the uh, getting a truck out of the ditch position, you also have some movable legs. We're gonna try this thing later and try not to break it because these things are quite fragile to begin with. You have three axles in the back. One is elevated, the two are flat on the ground. You get this little uh, thing here to tow the truck away with some extra legs in the back. And you get your big old uh, towing cable and crane in the back with an ice light bar on the top. You can see here in the back, their view, you got dual hook here. You can see they are actually true ones. And they are already, uh, and you can adjust them with this little gears on the front here. We're gonna try that later also. And on the passenger side, it's pretty much the same. Some extra tampons here for maybe the dot and other information. And that's pretty much it for the front. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Obviously, it got opening hood, and this one seems to have a either a Packard or a Cummins engine. And this one is pretty nicely detailed. Like all DCP trucks have. Let's close this hood, and now we're gonna try to see all the features of this truck, include the legs, the arm, everything. Let's go. 
So for the towing features, I'm, I bring out another truck from my collection. This is a Mac R model, and this thing is gonna be towing from the uh, Peter build here. I'm gonna see how cool it looks. So I mess around a bit with the truck, seeing all the details and the features, and try carefully to not break anything. And this truck has quite a bit of stuff. You have a 360 degrees pivoting crane, which is pretty cool. It does elevate in uh, multiple position, depending on what you want to do. And uh, when you rotate this thing, be careful because sometimes it's quite a bit stiff, so you don't want to break stuff or paint chip the stuff. You have to be careful, but it does rotate 360 degrees, which it'll do in real life, depending on what position the truck crash or anything. Catch your little steps leg here, that pole. I didn't force it to put it down because I'm afraid to break it since it's made of plastic and it's quite fragile, so I didn't try that. You can, of course, put this wheel down if you want to. And you have extra legs here on the back. The, this one don't go as far as this one, but does the job. And this one, same thing, you can pull it back here and you can put it back in after you do other wires. You have an extra hook here to attach the truck. And these ones are working with this little gear you can see in the back here. So you have to put it here if you want to pull it out or to put it back in the uh, transport position. You have to be careful to not uh, unroll the, the fragile part here because sometimes they do. So, uh, make sure you just put the uh, tension in the cable to not break it. And after you're done, it should be back in position like this. Same thing for the top ones here. Now let's put this Big Mac truck broken in the back, see if we can actually tow this truck away and put it back in the garage. Uh, should I put it like this? Uh, I think in the in real life they put it in the, by the front, which is more sense because this thing's more heavier in the front. So we're gonna put it like this. Put this thing down. And put the legs back in place do, 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 because we complete the job. Shut the hood. And now let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, it does uh, tow the truck away, which is pretty cool. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Happy collecting.